First of all, Shay, tell me, um, you know, you're going to be moving out of town. You've been here since the fourth grade. What kind of emotions do you have right now? Um, you know, I, I've had a great, great experience down here in the Valley with football. Um, I've built a lot of great relationships with, with friends and teammates and coaches. You know, it's definitely going to be hard to, hard to leave, but, you know, your family's got to do what you got to do to make a, to have a better situation where you want to live at. You're going to be going to Louisiana, a small school uh, as well, like you have here. You know, what, what it's going to be, change is always hard. What, what do you think about the changes? Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be a culture change. You know, I had to adjust that, to that down here when I first came, but, you know, as far as sports grow, it's going to be the same. You know, you got to go in there and work hard every day and earn your spot no matter who you are. You just got to continue working hard in the weight room and in the classroom. It wouldn't be such a big deal if you weren't a high school quarterback in the state of Texas and you weren't a D1 prospect, but you are. So what's the attention been like for you over the past year or so? Um, it's, it's been really humbling. You know, everybody's, everybody's watching. Everybody's got their eye on you. You just got to have a great character. You know, when nobody's watching, you got to do all the good things and, and work hard when nobody's watching so that when you're, on, you're put on display, you can perform. Your, uh, what was your reaction when your dad said, hey, we're, we're leaving town? Um, you know, it was definitely sad knowing uh, I have to leave all my friends, you know, and all the all the people I've met down here. But, you know, then again, you gotta you gotta do when life presents you with a great situation for your family. You get you gotta do what's what do you gotta do. For all your uh, all those fans in Arizona that are watching this interview right now, what do you have to say to them? I'm moving to SEC country, but you know, I'll definitely stay true and loyal to Arizona. You know, I work for a great company that uh, I started with about five years, and that's how I got down here. And uh, we pretty much doubled, doubled our growth, and we've done a great job for the manufacturers that we represent. Um, so I, I have an opportunity, I have a great boss. Um, he loves sports, and uh, he knows how hard things are for change and stuff like that. But uh, he presented me with an opportunity to, to have my own state of Louisiana, and, uh, you know, I'm not 25 anymore. I'm, Get to be about 50. You know, you don't think about these things until you're getting close to retirement. And it's just an opportunity that I, that I actually owe to the kids to, to try to do and try to you know, make sure everybody's in good shape. Um, so it, it, it was tough, you know, but we've always been a family to where as my wife stayed home with the kids and uh, we've got five pretty good kids, I think. And uh, I've always worked. So it's just another chapter. You know, it's kind of bittersweet because uh, we've got a lot of great friends, not only in Hidalgo, but in Brownsville. And what if uh, Scott Ford was still the head coach at Hidalgo? Would that kind of make it harder for you guys to leave? Uh, you know, it, it, it makes it, it would have been tougher because I still would have had to do it. So, um, you know, we were pretty close and Shea loved him. And now without a coach and some different things, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, I'm sure he'd have made it harder for me. He'd have tried everything he could to make me stay, but in the end, he understands, and he's a family man, and uh, you just have to do what you have to do sometimes, and, and I, like I understood when he went, you know, I, there was no animosity, and um, you've got to do what you've got to do for your family. You've, you've both told me that you've always wanted him at a small school, that's why you liked Hidalgo so much, and you're going to that same thing in, in uh, Louisiana? Absolutely. Uh, we, I have some people that we work with from Louisiana, and uh, obviously with the internet, you can investigate and stuff like that, so did my investigation on uh, the schools up there, and we found a school, you know, our kids went to, you know, smaller Catholic or private academies when before we came down here and uh, found a school that was in my territory, Calvary Baptist Academy, and uh, not far from where we're going to live. And uh, the great thing is uh, Shay and Nicholas, my fifth grader, will be able to, he's going to be in sixth junior high now, will be able to go to school, same school because it's all together. Yeah. So that's one positive and it's a great academic school and it'll also get them back a little bit spiritually into uh, to what they were used to growing up with. So. Um, it won't be you won't be walking into a school with five or six thousand kids and culture shock that bad or anything. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll be able to, to adjust to it. But I think they will. Will you remember the valley? Will that always be a part that Shea will take with him to Arizona and, and maybe onto the NFL? Well, I mean NFL, I he got a lot to work on. But uh, he, uh, you know, the valley is our home, really, basically for for the young guys. We've almost raised two families, one in Ohio and one down here, and. You know, the people we have in Brownsville, my brother's still here. He's the director of Parks and Recreation in Brownsville. And, you know, we're still doing some things to help out the Valley. We've got uh, uh, some good connections now with guys in, in Yahoo and Rivals. And, uh, you know, when pe when coaches came down here to talk to Shea, we sent them to other schools and um, to the other players that, you know, we thought were, were very good and go talk to other coaches. So um, 
I'm just continue to work with my brother and try to help out the kids in the valley so they can get uh, recognized because it's it, recruiting is a lot different than it used to be. You know, well, I remember Woody Hayes walking down my hall and then you know guys standing out in front of guys' houses. You can't do it anymore, so they have to they have to do more with their buck. They're allowed out so many days, and so do you go to Houston and see 500 kids, or do you come to McAllen and see one? Um, so we've got to make it to where they want to come see 10 or 15, and, and I know that can be done because there's some very good players out there. You know, the thing about Shea is, you know, you don't get good unless you're playing against good players. And uh, I think the Valley gets a, you know, I don't know, for lack of a bad name, there are some really tough players out there. And I know he took some hits that he doesn't want to ever take again down here. Um, so we're going we're gonna to stay involved. My brother's here and do everything we can help because uh, everyone helped him while he was down here. All right. Thanks a lot, Sean. Appreciate it. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate Thanks. it.